Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and in this video for the new Boston, we are going to be looking at if statements within PHP. Now an if statement is um, a statement that lets us to compare or not compare or evaluate um, something whether it's true or false and act on that. For example, um, in real life situations you would say if I did this there would be an outcome or otherwise if I didn't do this there would be another outcome and we can demonstrate this um, I'm gonna show you the syntax first of all and this is just simply if and then we have two brackets where um, our statement to be evaluated goes inside here here and then we um, start a curly bracket we come down a few lines and we end a curly bracket um, then what we do is um, we well we basically come in and put our statement in here so for now I'm gonna say if one now true so the way this reads is if one echo true now one by itself is a statement within programming in general that I will evaluate to true it's a it, it, it's there it's one it equals one it's one there's no other there's no comparison it just equals true um, otherwise we equal or we echo sorry false okay so we're basically saying if one on its own if this is true we execute this block here this is called a block otherwise by using the else keyword execute this block here what's highlighted in blue at the moment is a block so this is how we write it out you might see it's sometimes written like this this is a lot of an easier way to read it um, if you're new to programming it doesn't matter how you write it uh, but generally um, I write like this so this block here will be executed if one is true which it is and it always is and otherwise this block here will be executed so let's just run this in our browser and see what happens we are being displayed with the text true because this is true now what about if zero now you can probably guess that zero is um, an automatic false one is true and zero is false so in this instance putting a zero in we're evaluating zero is zero true or false it's false so we should be displayed with the text false the same as if we were to write true this would equal true and if we were to type in false this is equal to false now this is pretty boring we want to start making some comparisons inside so I'm just going to use an example of one of the comparison operators which is double equals and this means is equal to and it looks like this and either side of it you're going to do your values to compare so I want to say does one equal one now this reads as does one or is one equal to one and because one is equal to one we're going to be executing this block if one wasn't equal to one we'd be executing this block so let's just uh, run that and that's true now I'm going to change this to does one it is one equal to two and obviously that is false so you can see how this block here uh, this is called an if else statement because we're using the keywords if and we're using the keywords else you can have an if statement just on its own uh, if if it doesn't happen to equal true we're just in this case not gonna output anything because there's no else to tell us what to do otherwise so now uh, let's just return back to that uh, now what we can do is we can start saying things like if and we can have a variable up here um, let's just say t we'll say uh, text equals um, let's say uh, something so if text equals something echo true in this case we will be echoing out true to the screen because um, it is true um, otherwise echo false so now what I can do is change this to let's say something else it doesn't equal that so we're going to be displayed with false so that is the basic structure um, and the use of an if statement we have um, this is basically called an if else statement so we've got if else 
and depending on whether this statement here is evaluated to true or false we echo out the corresponding block.